fullerenes but first of the video will be about introduction history types and modification of fullerenes any molecule having only one carbon atom in its various shape like hollow sphere tube or ellipsoid are called fullerenes fullerenes have interconnected carbon atoms so this green area is carbon atom which are arranged in hexagonal and pentagonal ring form so this ring is hexagonal ring and this one is pentagonal ring when these are connected with each other through carbon atom it will produce fullerenes it has many shapes like hollow sphere tube and ellipsoids history of fullerenes in early 1970 usawa who was a scientist and who theoretically discussed the possibility of existence of polyhedral carbon cluster and he predicted some of their properties but all these were discussed theoretically so in 1985 kuroto and his co-workers they studied the mass spectrum of graphite vapors that were obtained by the laser irradiation on a solid sample and they observed the peak at 720 and 840 they suggested that these peaks are due to c60 and c70 that are the new allotropes of carbon so in 1985 a new allotrope of carbon was discovered having atomic arrangement in a closed shell that was given the name buckminster fullerene so buckminster fullerene name was given to this allotrope after the name of an architect buckminster fuller who fabricated cage like geodesic dome in 1960 that has interconnected elements so in fullerenes carbon is interconnected with another carbon atom so this buckminster fullerene name is given to this compound buckminster fullerene c60 that is the most common type of fullerene so richard buckminster fuller was an architect who designed a geodesic dome having shape like interconnected rings as fullerene also has interconnected ring structure so these are given the name buckminster fullerene c60 so the geodesic dome has interconnected ring and the fullerene also has interconnected ring structure that's why the fullerene or buckminster fullerene name is given to these allotropes of carbon c60 is the molecule having 60 carbon atoms these atoms are arranged in cage like structure having 12 pentagon and 20 hexagon so it is a cage like structure and it's look like a saucer ball it has 12 pentagons that has five corners and 20 hexagon six corners c60 molecule is the most symmetric molecule and it has many symmetries that is reflection symmetry rotation symmetry etc the suffix e and e that is fullerene tells that every carbon atom that is linked by the covalent bond to the other carbon atom and the every carbon atom is attached to three carbon atom not four so this is one two and three which mean that there is a double bond between carbon atom also so the suffix e and e that is for double bond it is also used in naming the fullerene types of fullerenes fullerene were discovered in 1985 after their discovery various types of fullerene were discovered on the basis of their structure variation so first type is bucky ball cluster this is the most common type of fullerene and the most common among these is c60 and c20 is the smallest member of bucky ball cluster fullerene nanotubes these have very small dimension these are hollow from inside like tube single wall and multiple wall boundaries and it is mostly used in electronic industry mega tubes 
that have larger diameter as compared to nano tubes and they have wall of various sizes mega tubes are mainly used in transportation of different size of molecule polymers polymers are formed under high pressure and temperature they have different structure like one dimensional chain two dimensional chain three dimensional shapes etc nano onion fullerenes they have spherical shape they have multiple carbon layer structure like buckyball core between the layers nano onions are utilized as good lubricants so these are the buckyball clusters C20 is the smallest one and C60 is the most common type. Nanotube fullerenes, carbon uh, nano onion fullerenes and polymer fullerenes. Modification of fullerenes. Modification of fullerene structure is done by the addition or depletion of atoms in the fullerene structure or by the breaking or the formation of bond. So the modification of fluorine results in three major structures that is exohedral fluorine, endohedral fluorine and heterofluorine. Exohedral fluorine, exohedral fluorine are formed by the chemical reaction between fluorine and other functional group. So this is the fluorine molecule and this is the other functional group when they chemically react with each other. So there is a new bond that is formed between the carbon atom of fluorine and the functional group. So this is also known as functionalized fluorine and the two main types of the reaction that are taking place in the exohedral fluorines are the addition reaction because there is double bond and the redox reaction. So these two type of reaction results in exohedral fullerenes. Endohedral fullerenes. Endohedral fullerenes are created when an atom that is non-carbon atom is inserted inside the fullerene. So this is an atom that is a non-carbon atom and when it is inserted inside the fullerene structure that will produce the endohedral fullerene. Heterofullerene. Heterofluorine represent a third type of modified fluorine in which at least one carbon atom is replaced by non-carbon atoms such as boron, nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, etc. So in this case, the fluorine molecule or the fluorine carbon atom, it is replaced by another heteroatom. So there is complete replacement of carbon atom from the fluorine molecule that will result heterofluorine. 